Hello boys and girls. Today we are working on lesson 6.7 in our Go Math book and it says to relate multiplication and division. So we have 5 rows of 4 which equals a total of 20. So 5 times 4 equals 20. You can do the reverse of that and do 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Because you take your total and you divide it by 5 to get 4. I have a group of 24. They are in rows of 4. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 times 6 equals 24. Or 24 divided by 4 is 6. This is like a fact family. We have rows of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. There are 8 in each row. So 3 times 8 is 24, or 24 divided by 3 is 8. 4 times what equals 28? 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 24, 28, 7. 4 times what equals 36? So if I know that it's 28 to get, that's 7. So you say plus 7 more is 36. So that would be 8. Because I just added 7 plus 1 more group of 7 to make 8. 36 divided by 4 is 8. 6 times 6 equals 36. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 8 times what equals 40? That same number will be divisible. Mr. Martin bought 36 muffins. He places them on plates. If he places 9 muffins on each plate, so we're going to do 36 divided by 9. How many plates does Mr. Martin use? Or you can write 36 is equal to 9 times something. I will let you solve that. There's 18 books. He read the same number of books each month for 3 months. So he has 18. It's divisible by 3. What's or 3 times something equals 18. Use examples to show that multiplication and division are inverse operations. That pretty word, inverse operations, which just means it's like the opposite. The opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is division. So. Use words and possibly pictures to illustrate this. And that concludes Lesson 6.7.